brain instantly goes, well, what a sort of opening is this? But you can't do that. You know, you've, you've got to take every opening as a as a good opening. Just because they've done small poor moves doesn't mean they're not going to win the game. They're just sitting back waiting. Let's just bring the bishop through. See if we castle. We might castle too early. And then that gives them the opportunity to blast down and get position around our king. Let's not overextend ourselves then. See if we can get our pieces behind our pawns. Okay, nice touch, nice touch. Let's just get the knight up. So they're just going to go for all the pawns in a line. So you never know who you're playing. They might be actually practicing this kind of for real because they've not played this before or maybe they think they've not seen this sort of opening before. You know, they may be going, well, why do we have to bring these minor pieces out and that type of stuff? Why? You know, who's telling me that? So, yeah, you can't sniff at these types of things because you have to prove why it is that you shouldn't do this type of opening. And if you can't, then the opening is valid. Let's get one more piece out, which is the bishop. Immediate thoughts are looking to attack here, but yeah, again, doesn't mean anything because they don't have to take. You would think that one of them would take because you're hitting two pawns. Because if you're hitting a single, they don't have to. They can push past if they wanted to. Again, it don't have to. You could just leave it like that and just wait for us to take whichever pawn. Probably beat us to the punch, attacking on the flank side. It's good to play against unusual openings because it does throw out all of your practiced ideas, whatever mode that you're thinking of, like, oh, well, it's um, it's all theory, all that sort of stuff. It throws all that out of the way, in a sense. Yes, it looks bad. Yes, it doesn't look like they're developing any pieces, but you have to prove why it is bad, you know. Um, so looking to double the pawns, I don't really have a problem with that. I'm going to continue attacking the two pawns like we mentioned here. try not to overextend but at the same time I'm not wanting to stonewall the idea if I can see if there's a potential weakness then I'm gonna try and chip away at it it's not quick and dirty tactics unless of course the opponent gives us a quick and dirty tactic position Queen's out I was gonna mention well the Queen could be coming out all this sort of stuff um, so they'll get a pawn if we don't support. So we could bring the queen here and support. There's no checks on this king with the pawn capturing at the minute. Could bring the bishop back, but he's blocking my queen. I don't really, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just going to bring the queen to support. So at least he's not getting a free pawn. So I don't sound, I don't feel like I'm too worried about the position that they're trying to go for. It doesn't seem to be improving any of their development kind of on the on the board. But we shall see. We'll just have to wait and see. Because this one pawn move doesn't mean we've won anything. 
because they've got time to bring the night out here. They've got the, well, this night's a bit jammed in at the minute. They've got time to go on castle, flimsy little castle. But what is a castle at the end of the day? The castle is really what makes the king feel comfortable. So if you do a virtual castle and it's stuck on the edge by itself, but all the pieces are doing the relevant pieces of work to protect it, then that's your castle. So kind of changing your mindset as to what a castle looks like really can help influence the development of your game and actually the development of your pieces. So you're not so concerned. So he does push one. So we did say, yeah, they could take one. Just wants his knight to be developed. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with his knight being jammed in there like that. So, you know, I might leave it there for a split second. If we attack, Bishop could take, can take, but I don't think they're going to do that. They'll just take, take, take. So what we're wanting to do is maybe get this pawn up here. Currently, the bishop is protecting, so I believe I'm attacking the bishop. Get these pawns doubled up with the queen taking, etc. If we have the time, push. If we don't, then I suppose they're going to capture. But either way, we're causing disruption around what it is that they're attempting to try and do. <sighs> the shock, horror, amazement. The bishop has got protection. The pawn has got a fork on the queen and the bishop. So it looks like they may lose the bishop. Bishop doesn't have a quick check on our queen at all. If the bishop takes, that's where the little question comes in. Because they may be looking to do that. Because if we do take the bishop, then the queen takes the rook with a check on our king. So you have to be mindful of that little trick. So the knight could come and attack the bishop, or the bishop can just simply take the bishop. Just in case you don't know what I mean, if I come here, bishop takes the pawn. Pawn takes, the queen takes the rook for free. There's nothing else that can stop that. So that's why we're not doing that maneuver. Let's keep it simple. Let's just take the bishop off the board. So at least we've got pieces developed, but as we said, they can easily develop from the back. And I'm still liking the fact that the knight is not getting into the game at this moment. Did really want to push here. We could queenside castle and support the pawn if we get time to get the pawn up to this point. The knight does have a check on the queen, supported by our queen. So it's putting a little bit of pressure on it, but I suppose it can just come back here or go in front of the pawn, stopping the pawn from pushing. Probably giving them things to think about is a good thing. I mean, the queen can sit here, but the knight will take. Let's give them something to think about. Things are protected, the knight's protected, bishop's protected, this knight's protected, this pawn's protected. Uh, so things are protected. Because with this strange looking opening, I'm trying not to make any weak areas available for them. So he's got a check on our king, but the, the knight is protected, as we said, so I'm not too worried about that. We can't go on castle, but we could go here, but then we'd lose the knight. We could attack the queen with the pawn, again, giving them something to think about. So the queen's probably going to go back. So let's give them something to think about, advancing another pawn up the board. And all the while, these pieces, these minor pieces aren't developed and the rooks aren't getting developed as well. But as we keep saying, doesn't mean you've won the game just because of that. We have to try and keep maintaining some sort of pressure on the position and try and improve the, the, the development of our pieces. So old school says, yes, get them all developed and you're going to be onto a winner. Not always the case. There's some very clever players out there that can play with pieces not developed as yet, working the pawns quite nicely. So you have to prove to yourself the, the, the theory behind all of that. So the queen does go back, so it's um, undeveloped itself. Knight could come here, it's um, attacking the pawn, but the bishop's protecting it, the bishop's protecting that pawn as well. So we could queenside castle to support the pawn, or we could push the pawn up anyway. 
just to be a real annoyance and maybe get some support here with a pawn if we get time they may push down with the pawn because they want to get their knight out mm, that's the annoying thing so could we push this pawn just to block this pawn from coming down but then we can push this to block this pawn from pushing up oh it's one of those little annoying situations where it would be ideal to have this but it doesn't look like that's going to happen does it okay let's give shall we give it a try or shall we go and castle nothing at this moment in time is giving us any worries about castling so i don't want to lose tempo castling let's give it a shot let's give it a shot let's definitely want him to make space for his knight so this pawn is going to be moving i don't want it to move i want it to stay there let's get this here come on fingers crossed fingers crossed oh it's kind of done it in a way let's move the knight and yeah he's attacking the pawn we can take before we do a new jig we can take uh, the queen's protecting the knight so this is going to take so he, he does open up oh we don't get to support the pawn apart from with the rook or something knight could come here but I am blocking my own pawn, the, the lovely pawn I'm wanting to push up. If I come here, it takes. Damn it. Alright then. Okay. Fair enough. We had sights of this glorious position. It's just not quite happening. They might not be interested. Maybe they'll just thought, oh, well, I'm attacking the knight. And maybe we're going to get it. Maybe, just maybe. do we not go rushing there but that is what we're wanting if we allow them to take again it's down to this damn rook not having any support on <sighs> which is going to be worth it pushing this just to get this locked off which would be lovely they take So we're giving them plus one. Or do we just take, but then we're allowing the queen to get back in the game. We're going to have a two on one here. Queen can come here. It's not looking a pretty sight. I'm sure we're advantageous somehow. Take. Takes. Go for his queen. Okay, I'm going to take, but I think he's going to take this pawn because he wants the free rook. I think we might be a pawn down, but maybe the position might be a little bit better. I've resigned myself to the fact of not locking this down now. Um, if they do take potential for going for like a queen exchange with the advanced pawn, obviously it's not going to stay there for long because the rook will attack it. Yeah, it's going for his um, free rook. So, I'm going to push this pawn here. It's the kind of thing I had looked in my head and thought, well, might as well do that. So, this now has got an option. Or does it just stay locked in with this pawn here? But if it does, the queen can take. So, I think the capture's going to come. So, I threw it all away. Um, we can still, we're not going to take, obviously. We're going to attack the queen, like we said. Doesn't have to capture, but I don't think it's got much places to go. Again, the king can just take, so he, he doesn't have to. He can just continue doing his little attack here. At least then we've got support with the knight. We can attack their rook. He does have a bit of a passer. 